What's up guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Dead Leaves and the Dirty Ground by the White Stripes. Awesome song, got some cool licks, riffs, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be breaking it down, and the first part of the song is this intro, it sounds something like this. <laughs> distortion on, distortion pedal or whatever, um, Jack White uses a pedal called Big Moth uh, by a company called Pi, I believe, um, and we can check that out. Basically just put a little distortion on, and then the riff starts out. You can do first finger or third, second, doesn't really matter, whatever your preference is, I sort of switch between them, but it's on the fifth, fifth fret, sixth string right here, and you sort of slide up from the third, so, just like that. And you hit it three times, and the third time you do a pull off. Right? You guys probably know what a pull off is. Um, if you don't, you can look up the tutorial for it. Anyway, slide up three times, third time, pull off, and then land on the third fret, sixth string. So. And on the third fret, you do the exact same thing you did here. And then land on the second fret right here, and that's, this time you only do it twice, and the second time pull off, and then go to the first fret and do the same thing you did with the second fret. So fifth fret and third fret, you hit it three times and then pull off. Second fret, first fret, you hit it twice and then pull off. So all together it sounds something like this. And then after you've done that, it goes just to a simple A chord. So. And then after it hits the A chord twice, you sort of take your second finger and pull it down. Give the uh, third fret six string a little bend in there. So it's. And then restart the lick. So it goes. And then he does that twice, and you can go into power chords, make it sound a little bit chunkier. Alright, um, after he does that, he goes into this cool little lick, sounds like this. simply an A chord right here and then you pick down from the A string so you go three four one two three four and then on the fourth one you do a little power uh, hammer on with your third finger so just like that okay um, just like that and then you go open E hammer on with your second finger on the third, and then open A, hammer on second fret um, on the A. So, right? Just like that. And then you hit the, the next two strings are open. So it's, it's open E, hammer on, open A, open D, open G. Okay, just like that. So we have... And then you put your second finger on the A string, third fret, and then your first finger on the second fret, uh, D string. And then you hit those two. And then you hit the open G, so... Once you do that, just simply slide that same formation up to the 5th fret, 
So first, for, uh, sorry, second finger is on the fifth fret, and your first finger is on the fourth. So one, two, three, and this time you only do it one, two, and then back to the main riff. Riff, you can sort of supplement notes in here and there, hit some open, you know, I sort of like to do it like, uh, like this. So you can really do it whatever way you want, but that's the core of it. Once you have that down, it goes into the main chords, which is simply A, back to G, to C, to D, back to A, and then that little, uh, right here so and then the other um, part that he does occasionally is just a, a power chord on the first fret to the G power chord on the third fret back to A so pretty simple uh, go back to distortion and you have a bar chord or sorry power chord on the fifth fret hit it twice down to the G on the third fret then up to the a string third fret hit that twice fast and then up to the fifth fret a string right so you have listen to it, play with it a couple times. Um, subscribe to this channel for more guitar tutorials if you have anything you want to see done. Leave in the description any songs you want to see. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys later.